مرحبا اهلا وسهلا بكم ويلكم اجين تو اور كلاس جيت واي تو عربيك بوك 4 ذيس از بروبلي ويل بي ذا لاست ليسن اوف ذيس بوك اند ذن وي موف تو بوك 5 ان شاء الله بس توداي وي ار جوين تو بوت اور اوردينري نمبرز ذات وي ليرنت ذا لاست ليسن ان تو ا جود يوز توداي سو وي ار جوين تو يوز ذيم تو تيل تايم اوكي هاو دو يو اكشلي سي واتس ذا تايم ناو ان عربيك You say, "Come in, sir." That means what's the time? And then, "Al an" means now. "Come in, sir." At al an. "Come in, sir." At al an. What's the time now? And then you say, "As sir at," and you tell the time. Ah, to do that, let's first set our store by introducing some uh, essential vocabulary, relevant vocabulary. Number one, how do you say a uh, second? in arabic second is thaniyatun thaniyatun and the plural thawanin thawanin that mean seconds thaniyatu thaniyatun and then thawanin okay what about a minute in arabic a minute is daqiqatun daqiqatun and plural is daqaiqu daqaiqu daqiqatun daqaiqu good what about hour an hour is sa'atun so you use it for an hour as well as time sa'atun sa'atun okay uh, what other relevant uh, vocabulary here ah nisfun nisfun that mean half nisfun half uh thuluthun thuluthun that mean third thuluthun third what's the quarter a quarter is rub'un or rub'un rub'un a quarter okay that's good uh what's the in the morning in arabic or am sabahan sabahan is coming from sabahul khair remember so sabahan that's mean in the morning or am what about in the morning or in the, in the afternoon or noon zuhran zuhran that's mean noon in 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 the afternoon you can say bad dhuhr in the afternoon because bad means after masaan masaan means pm or in the evening masaan okay other relevant is like illa ah illa illa means except but we use it to say to when you say one minute to one you say something illa and then you mention the the uh, the minutes illa how do we say past we use wa wa actually means as you know and but in the telling time you mean past so we say one minute past uh, time and then wa and then the number of minutes lastly let's uh, register uh, how do you say exactly you say tamaman tamaman okay so the story is set now let's now see how to start telling our time using the ordinary numbers remember ordinary numbers need to be the same gender as the noun it's been modified and it has to come after that now so what's the time in arabic the time is as-sa'atu as-sa'atu so that's feminine and then the number after that has to be of feminine uh, nature so we say as-sa'atu al-wahidatu that means 1 o'clock as-sa'atu al-wahidatu 1 o'clock you can say tamaman exactly or you can say as-sa'atu al-wahidatu sabahan 1 o'clock in the morning sabahan now let's move to 2 uh, o'clock as-sa'atu thaniyatu as-sa'atu thaniyatu 2 o'clock you can say uh, zuhran 
noon or in the afternoon, zuhuran. Okay. Uh, three o'clock, asa'atu thalithatu tamaman. Exactly. Okay. Asa'atu rabi'atu. That's four o'clock. Asa'atu rabi'atu. Then five o'clock, asa'atu khamisatu. Six o'clock, asa'atu sadisatu. Seven o'clock, asa'atu sabi'atu. Eight o'clock, asa'atu thaminatu. Nine o'clock, asa'atu tasi'atu. Ten o'clock, asa'atu l'ashiratu. Tamaman. Sobahan. Masa'an. And so on. Okay. Now what about 11 o'clock? Again, we're going to use our ordinary numbers. So, we know the feminine because the sa'a is feminine. So we say, as-sa'atu, and then we say, al-hadiyata ashrata. As-sa'atu al-hadiyata ashrata. If you check the last lesson, that's how you find that 11th. So, 11 o'clock, as-sa'atu al-hadiyata ashrata. What about 12 o'clock? As-sa'atul thaniyata ashrata. As-sa'atul thaniyata ashrata. 12 o'clock. Okay. Now, let's start using other vocabulary that we have just established. Let's use half. How do you then say half past six in the morning? So we say asatu sadisa asatu sadisa tu. Then you can say sobahan. If you want to say half past, asatu sadisa tu one nisf and half. Half past six sobahan in the morning. Asatu sadisa tu sobahan. Or asa'atu sadisatu masa'an in the evening. What about, uh, ah, we learn about thuluth. Thuluth, we know thuluth means uh, third. In Arabic, that's in telling time, that means 20. Because uh, obviously, divide your 60 minutes by 3. You get your 20. So 20, third is 20. So in Arabic, you can say asa'atu thaniyatu, for example, two o'clock, and then you can say wathuluth. So wathuluth and a third, that means 20 minutes past two. Asa'atu thaniyatu wathuluth. Good. <laughs> what about quarter? Quarter past, obviously, that's the rubber. Quarter past, that's the equivalent of 15 minutes past the hour. Uh, 15 or quarter past, uh, quarter past seven in the morning. Asa'atu sabi'atu warrubo. Warrubo. That's mean at a quarter. So quarter past seven. Asa'atu sabi'atu warrubo. Sobahan in the morning. So if we use our nis, it's half, we use our thuruth, which is the third, and we use our rubo, which is quarter. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's let's just stay for those three. Now we use wa. Now what about if we put illa quarter to uh Half, um, we can't say half two. <laughs> no, we can't say 20 minutes two. Let's say quarter to one first. Then you say asa'atul wahidatu. Instead of wa, you say illa. You say except. Asa'atul wahidatu illa. And then you say, let's say, use the third. Illa thulutha. Here, you have to put fat on tha. Oh, there's a grammar there. Don't worry about that now. So, inshallah, that will come later on. I don't want interruption of too much grammar. <laughs> now, 
<laughs> so why it is fat hatha that will be revealed in the future <laughs> just learn it now to say illa after that you have fatha uh, ending so asaatul wahidatu illa thulutha with fatha if you want to say 20 minutes to or uh, 15 minutes to you say uh, and like, uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, um, quarter two. You say asaatul wahidatu illa ruba again with fatha. When you say illa, the last letter of the word after it is in fatha. Okay, <laughs> believe me. <laughs> right. Okay. Now, let's now move to what? Uh, ah, actually using minutes. Oh boy. That's what we need to pay attention to using minutes because minutes, as you know, the qiqatun, that's a minute, the qa'iq is the plural. So, and the qiqatun, remember, is feminine. Okay, when you're using your numbers, you, uh, you have to very, very, really uh, be aware. Okay, let's, let's start gentle. Uh huh, gentle. Gentle does it, it's better. Let's say one minute first. So one and one minute, one minute pass uh, eight. Asaatu thamina two. That's eight o'clock. So I want to say wa and which means pass here wa dqiqatun. So asaatu asaatu thamina two wa dqiqatun. You can say wadaqiqatun wahidatun if you like, but you don't have to. Asa'atu thaminatu wadaqiqatun. Okay, that's me. One minute past uh, eight. What about two minutes past? Two minutes past, we say, asa'atu, asa'atu thaminatu wadaqiqatani. Remember any noun in the Arabic, once you want to make it dual, you can put any ending or any when it's necessary. So any here. Asa'atu thaminatu wa daqiqatani. That means two minutes past the hour. In this case, eight o'clock. I, I hope you're following me. <laughs> yes, it's all in the book. Don't worry about too much. Okay. At this stage, Let's use two rather than pass. Uh, one minute uh, to uh, eight o'clock. One minute. Let's see. When we say pass, one minute pass, we say asa atu thamina tu wadaqiqatun. But when we say two, we say asa atu thamina tu, that's fine. Illa daqiqatan. Aha, two fatha. Illa daqiqatan. If you say wahidatan, that's fine. But you say daqiqatan. Asa'atu thaminatu illa daqiqatan. And if you want to say two minutes to eight, when we say past eight, we say asa'atu thaminatu wa daqiqatan, wa daqiqatani. Here we say asa'atu thaminatu illa daqiqatani. Aini ending, not any ending. I promise in the future you're going to learn what is in and out of why later on, but not now. Just learn your number, please. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't be distracted by all these things. Just learn the structure. Alright then. <laughs> okay, now let's move to now three paths all the way to whatever. Right. The, uh, three pass. Remember your number. This is where number is weird, really. But it is entertaining. You know, Arabic language is very mathematical. So that's why they really have uh, these uh, fun with numbers. Okay, so <laughs> remember number three to number nine is always opposite of what you are counting. Yeah, we said that before in uh, in all the previous uh, lessons. So bear that in mind. We've been talking about the kikotun, which is the feminine. So. Our number has to be opposite if we are dealing with the three to nine. Let's say three minutes past one. Asa'atul wahidatu. Aha. So he wants to say three minutes. Minutes is feminine, which means the number three has to be used in opposite gender. Has to be used in 
masculine you said it so asaatul wahidatu wa thalathu that's masculine version of number 3 wa thalathu daqaiq if you want you can say daqaiq with fatha but don't worry just say daqaiq asaatul wahidatu wa thalathu daqaiq o daqaiq hide it <laughs> yes asaatul wahidatu wa thalathu daqaiq okay good and that's what you use all the way to uh, nine so if you want to say nine minutes past one you say asaatul wahidatu wa tis o see if put as a masculine wa tis'u daqaiq okay if you number eight you say wa thamani wa thamani with ya wa thamani daqaiq so thalathu daqaiq arba'u daqaiq khamsu daqaiq sittu daqaiq sab'u daqaiq thamani daqaiq tis'u daqaiq and then your ashru daqaiq all those numbers from 1 to 10 there they are opposite in gender to the daqiqa because daqiqa is feminine in its origin <laughs> go to the book and it's there i laid it down for you there in an easy way and it is a exercise to <laughs> to apply it so don't be frightened by this okay <laughs> i know you are not really okay Uh, so that's when you are staying the uh, a time pass or uh, uh, two. When you say illa, you remember you need fatha after that. Okay, let's now see what all about eleven. Eleven minutes pass and eleven minutes two. What is going to happen? So let's take number eleven for instance. Asaatul uh, wahida two. That's at one o'clock. Let's say wa. and 11 minutes now how do you see your 11 minutes if you are counting something feminine which is daqiqa that's what you need to remember remember number 1 is always in line with the with the in gender with whatever you are counting number 1 so 11 is made out of 1 and made out of 10 so both set of numbers here must be of the same gender because when ashara is part of another number it has to be the same gender so asaatul wahidatu wa so you will say wa ihda because ihda is feminine yeah wa ihda and ashrata has to be so asaatul wahidatu و إحدى عشرة دقيقة. Again, remember we said when you are counting things in Arabic after number ten, eleven to ninety-nine, your items you are counting is singular with two fatha. I did say that before, so don't complain and don't protest. Don't blame me. I laid down before in the uh, lesson. 28 29 30 it's older so i'm not guilty <laughs> right okay so asaatul wahidatu wa ihda ashrata daqiqatan and 12 minutes pass you will say asaatul wahidatu wa again we said before when you were count you say if na ta not ni if na ta ashrata daqiqatan asaatul wahidatu wa if na ta ashrata daqiqatan so that's your 11 and 12 because though the all the numbers there they are in line with the gender of everything that's fine but once you move to your number your number 3 13 to 19 here we go again your 
the first part, which is your three to nine, they have to be opposite. Oh boy, yes. Okay, let's 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 try a couple of them as a sample. <laughs> thirteen minutes, for instance. Thirteen minutes. Okay, we say asaatul wahida to one o'clock. Wa and then thirteen minutes. Remember, we are counting minutes. Minutes is a feminine. So the three part of thirteen has to be opposite, which means uh, it's going to be masculine. So we're going to say asaatul wahida to wa thalatha, which is fatha on the third. No time arbuta. وَثَلَاثَ عَشْرَةَ عَشْرَةَ because it's part of another number that has to be of the same gender وَثَلَاثَ عَشْرَةَ and then you say دَقِيقَةً Yes, you are getting there, I'm sure <laughs> Really, to be honest, it's not it sounds very complicated but once you know the principle behind it as laid down previously in lesson 28 uh, 29 and it will become easier for you that's why i can <laughs> carry it in my head because i know the pattern yeah i know the pattern so i know that number three whatever i can find it I, I may find it that's it it has to be opposite i just need to identify what i'm counting to say are you male or female oh yes this is masculine this is feminine the kika is feminine so therefore and he said 13, yeah, immediately my brain said, yeah, number 3 has to be masculine. And number 10 has to be feminine because it's in the combination of uh, numbers. So that's why it uh, becomes easier for me to see. So, <laughs> yes, so it's easier said than done, I know. So, al-asa'atul wahidatu wa thalatha ashrata daqiqatan. And when you say 14, the same pattern, asa'atul wahidatu wa arba'a fatha, nota marfota, ashrata daqiqatan. If you want to say 19, asa'atul wahidatu wa tis'a ashrata daqiqatan. Uh, 20 pass in the, in the minutes, you say asa'atul wahidatu wa ishiruna daqiqatan. Ah, okay. I think the best really for me to suggest is go and have a cup of tea or coffee or nice water. Just sit down when you are in a good mood and we are relaxing. You know, you have good, good, uh, you know, just sitting down and relax. Uh, go to book four and read it from page 48 to uh, oh, all the way to the end of the book, basically. A number of exercises there for you to do which will help you to uh, understand it better. If you have any question, drop me an email or just put your comment below. I will try to help, inshallah. So, this is the end of our uh, book four, Gateway to Arabic Book Four. I hope you enjoy it and inshallah, uh, please um, go right from the beginning of book four and digest it pro properly first before you attempt to move to book five which will be the subject of our next lesson inshallah good luck and see you next time ma'asalama ila liqa fi amanil